medcram.com. Okay, so welcome to another MedCram lecture. We're continuing our discussion about actual diseases in terms of cholestatic liver diseases. So let's go ahead to the table. Okay, so here are three major diseases. We've got primary biliary cirrhosis. We've got primary sclerosing cholangitis. And we've got large bile duct obstruction. Let's talk about primary biliary cirrhosis first in this area. And we've got these categories, alkaline phosphatase, total bilirubin history and diagnosis. So primary biliary cirrhosis is more common in women. It causes fatigue and itching. So think about a woman who's itching and has some jaundice to her. The ALKFOS is gonna be definitely elevated. And that's because what this primary biliary cirrhosis is, it's like little portal granulomas. So little granulomas affecting the portal area and you get destruction of the intrahepatic biliary ducts. So this is intrahepatic destruction of the biliary ducts. We see this in middle-aged women and you do get an increase in cholesterol retention. It can be asymptomatic for years or even decades. So what you see is a high alkaline phosphatase. You may actually also see a high cholesterol as we mentioned. And the, the bilirubin does go up, but it doesn't go up until later in the disease. Here's the key though for the diagnosis, okay? And this is what they're gonna test you on, is you're gonna have positive anti-mitochondrial antibodies. That's the key positive anti-mitochondrial antibodies in more than 95% of the time. You can diagnose this with liver biopsy. Okay, so if you've got a lady who fits into this category, make sure you get an anti-mitochondrial antibody. Okay, let's talk about primary sclerosing cholangitis. Now with this, whereas this was just intrahepatic, now we're talking about both intra and extra hepatic ductal problems. Um, it's associated with actually ulcerative colitis. Okay, so you think about those type of inflammatory diseases. And what you're seeing here is fibrosing cholangitis of the biliary ducts. And what you'll see is kind of like a beads on a string type of appearance if you were to do a cholangiogram. So you'll have this fibrosis, here's the biliary duct, and then you'll have this fibrosis, fibrosis, fibrosis. So it looks like beads on a string if you were to do a cholangiogram. Okay, so this beaded appearance makes you think of sclerosing cholangitis. And so the diagnosis is actually a cholangio, cholangiography, if you will. That means you just shoot dye in there and you can see it light up. It's pretty interesting to see that. So the beaded appearance is almost pathognomonic and it's associated with these diseases. And it looks very similar to primary biliary cirrhosis in terms of labs. So you get the elevated ALKFOS and you get this total bilirubin elevation. Okay, what about large bile duct obstruction? Again, because ALKFOS is an inducible enzyme, you'll see that. You also see increased T bili. Here, however, because you actually have a large bile duct obstruction, this is gonna look like gallbladder disease or cholecystitis. You're gonna get pain. You're gonna get fever. Okay, these type of things. And the diagnosis here, again, is you can do cholangiography. You could also do ultrasound. You could do an ERCP, that's endoscopic retrograde cholangiopancreoduodenoscopy, which is a long word. So ERCP, you can do an MRCP, that's where you use magnetic resonance imaging. You can do ultrasound, you can do cholangiography, okay? So that takes care of the cholestatic liver diseases. And thanks for joining us.